Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create Google Form Survey Questionnaire in mobile. Before we start, hurry up and check out all the software just under this video. So let's get started. Now in this case, you might be worried, how do you create a Google Form Survey just using your mobile here? Well, first things first is we need to have a browser on our mobile device. In this case, if we already have one, let's go ahead and open it up. So specifically, I'm using Google Chrome. Now, from here, you want to go to the URL section and you just don't need to type any following. It's going to be forms.google.com. Now, from here, it might ask you to verify yourself or log in. So in this case, just click on next. And from here, just follow the on-screen steps. But in this case, I'm going to switch over to my other account here that I want to use. Now, immediately when you go to the uh, fo uh, following option here, which is forms.google.com, you should have the option to start or immediately adding your details for your form. So first is we need to add the form title here. So for example, this is going to be a test form. Now from here, you can also add your description, make your text bold here if you want to, add some links if you want to. So in this case, I'm just going to add test description. And from here, you could go ahead and add your first question. Now, in your question, you could go ahead and click on the uh, type of question here. So in this case, you could go ahead and click on the uh, Untitled Question section and just basically add your question. Like, for example, um, first question, just add it or whatever. Right? But in this case, if you want to change the format for it, you could go ahead and click on the Multiple Choice option here, which is the default uh, type of question that you have on your form. In this case, you could choose either short answer, paragraph, check boxes, drop down, even file upload here. Or you also have a linear scale, multiple choice grid, check box grid, date, and time as well. So in this case, go and choose the appropriate one for you. And from here, you could go and start adding your options. So for example, this is going to be option one. And in this case, if you want to add another one, you go and click on the add option link as you see at the bottom here and just basically start adding your name for the name or the answer for it now if you want to add an image for that you can go and click on the image icon that you see next to it now in this case if you want to add another question here you can go and click on the plus button at the bottom left of your screen and that would actually add your second question so for example we want to say this is going to be second question and from here, same thing, you could go ahead and basically choose the formatting for it. So in this case, either short answer, check boxes, or drop down here. Now, in this case, if you click on the next button here, which in this case, you uh, the uh, share, or in this case, the form that has the arrow in it, you'll have the option to choose from the form or recent forms that you've actually accessed. So if you want to uh, basically uh, view them, this is how you do it. Now, if you click on the T icon that you see at the bottom of your screen, you'll have the option to basically add, or in this case, add another uh, question here. So this is uh, going to be another way that you do. Now, in this case, you can go and add a uh, section for just text. So in this case, add a description. If you want to add those details, specific details, like for example, you want to give some specific details first, this is how you do it. Now, if you want to add uh, an image for your form here, you can go and click on the image icon at the very bottom center here. And basically, I either upload or drag it in here. You can use your webcam or URL here if you want to use that. So yeah, you also have the option to add in YouTube videos here if you want to. So in this case, you can either paste the YouTube URL here or just basically add the keyword that you want to use to basically search for YouTube videos. So you also have the option that says add section at the bottom right here, which in this case adds another section for your uh, form. Now, if you want to change the overall design of your form, you can go and click on the uh, palette uh, icon. You see at the top center here. And from here, you have the option to change the font size and font family of the header question and even the text itself that you see here. Now you can choose the header color here as well. So in this case, you could choose the header image as well and the background of the overall form here. So if you want to revert a few things on your form here, you could go and click on the reverse or in this case, undo button at the top here. As you can see, we were able to remove the section that we just recently added. Now, if you want to uh, basically do a few things, like for example, preview it, you just need to click on the tree dot icon at the top right here. You have the preview, redo, start, make a copy of this question here, or even delete this uh, form that we just recently created. But once you're sure or once you're done, you now have to go to uh, the following section. So responses here 
actually contains all the responses that you have on your form. Now, if you go to settings, you have the option to make this quiz, responses, manage your responses, your presentation, form default. Now, if you want to start sharing this, you go and click on the share or send button at the top center here. And from here, you can either send this via email or via link or even embed this to uh, your website. But in this case, you can go and just copy your link here, start sharing this to different people and you should be good. And that's about it. So, if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.